Yeah. Um, like I was saying earlier on, I was discussing the global green um, political movement with a neighbor of mine. Yeah. Um, just remind you, I'm filming this documentary called Living as, uh, as an Educated Bomb in, in the Commonwealth of Dominica. So, basically, green politics stands for concepts such as egalit egalitarianism, egalitarianism, if I'm getting this word right, like social equity and stuff like that. And um, I guess these green political leaders all over the globe are trying to protect the environment. And one of the key areas or main areas of focus is reducing the, 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 the gap between rich and um, poor countries. Um, yes, reducing the gap, this 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 gap between the rich and poor countries. Like um, they think that um, economic equity is better for the environment yeah. because they argue that. Most of the affluent countries, much more developed nations, are the nations that are producing, causing, causing this this, this anthropogenic, anthrop anthropogenic causes of of pollution. They're the ones that are polluting the the environment most. So the question is. How can social economic equity, right, between between the, the rich countries and the poor countries reduce um, reduce the the impacts of climate climate change? Uh, so I'm imagining that if you get if you get right. If you use the principles of LK contamina paga, the principles of whoever contaminates pays for it, you will get these poorer countries some money from the richer countries to help them build climate resilient resilient nations out of their countries. And I guess that could spark off you know economic growth. Economic growth could create jobs. Great jobs for great jobs in in this in this in this in, yeah, in these poorer countries because you're talking about a whole bunch of projects projects in these developing nations you know in these developing nations to help them be much more more resilient in you know more resilient or to help them you know rehabilitate themselves fast faster you know from the impacts of climate change so that's the question you know that's a question for the day it's a question for the day yeah that is that is is economic equity between poor and rich nations all over the world better for protecting the environment yeah oh, that's just, just you know my just to introduce myself again i'm silas ivan charles you know i have a bachelor's degree in environmental engineering and i'm filming this documentary called living as an educated bomb in, in the commonwealth of dominica yeah yeah okay so we just had some bomb talk <laughs> yeah i hope you could comment on it Whatever.